Welcome to today's Grow It Green. We're at Deverin Farm in Goffstown, and I'm joined by Rachel Massini from UNH Cooperative Extension. And Rachel, lately in my garden, I've been noticing some damage, but I can't seem to find the culprit responsible, and you're telling me there may be a little beetle that's at that That's there. right, Ray. There are what we call an Asiatic garden beetle. It's a relative of the Japanese beetle. They look similar, but not so much. You, you know, if you put them side by side, you can tell the Japanese beetle with that beautiful green color. And the Asiatic garden beetle is that, it's like a mahogany, a little bit smaller in shape, but they're there. Okay, now I'm starting to see some damage. What are some ways to look for on your plants that you may indicate or so? Yeah, the damage is gonna be different. The Japanese beetle skeletonizes the leaves, so it's very um, characteristic of their feeding. With the Asiatic garden beetle, they are more of a stripper, so they're gonna actually feed on that whole leaf. And it's gonna start from the lower leaves and move up the plant. As it gets warmer, those beetles get more active, so they'll start flying, so they'll go higher in the plant. But at first, they're gonna be on those lower leaves. Okay. and. Now, some ways to tell that you uh, may have these beetles. Uh, you say, uh, better look out at night, huh? Yeah, exactly. They are nocturnal feeders, so you're not gonna see them during the day feeding. So what I would recommend to people is if you're seeing damage, but you're not seeing the culprit, go out at night with a flashlight and shine it on your plant. And you may see them at that point. Yeah, now ways to treat. If uh, I've gone out with my flashlight and I found these little critters there, okay, sometimes you can just take them with their, your fingers and squish them, but uh, there may be a few more. Yeah, there might section. be a cool way to do this. You could actually take a pie pan with soapy water and put it right flush with the ground and then put a, a light of some sort six inches above that, right near where you've seen them. They're going to be drawn to that light, they'll fall into that water, and boom, you got them. Now, they also live in your uh, lawns as well, so if you're treating for grubs, uh, that will take care of them, correct? Exactly, yeah, that will control what's in the lawn, but sometimes they will be in the soil around your plants, at which point you can put an insecticide down, but you want to make sure that you read that label before applying. And that would be something like seven, perhaps? Yeah, or carbaryl, no, yeah, uh, most definitely. Okay, and if you have some more questions, there is a fact sheet there. And, now, if you hopefully you don't have these uh, grubs, but if you do, then now you know how to get rid of them. And that's today's Grow It Green.